Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, let's continue. Final decision. Oh, this here. Going on some more. What we got? There are nothing in these panels. Ally damage. Ally damage. Something tells me those things move. No entry. How far can they throw? One, two, three, four, five. One, one two, three, four, five. Damn it, there's another one over there. Fuck. Wait, can I lift that? What if I lifted that? These are those are purple, so that wouldn't change anything. Oh, damn it.
Those little, mm, I knew those little bastards were gonna were the movie ones. Can actually increase the mm. 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 I wonder how many times you can do that. If that stacks, that can get retarded. to non-attribute special. Okay.
Not an attribute special. My no, I'm an idiot. I was expecting it to snuff it anyhow. So much for that. Ready. 
Ah, hell. It only did one damage? Then you two are over there doing a healing circle here. Fucking nonsense. How much HP do you have? I think Ross instead. Mm, yep. Attack Lord Damp Knight. Pretty good. Is this? that dragon in the dick. Are you 
watching, little brothers and Axel fans around the netherworld? There's about a hundred fleets from different overlords from all over the universe down there. But there's still no match for me. I am Axel, the dark hero, and no one can stop me now. Here I go for my final episode. I am Axel, the dark hero, the legendary overlord Zenon's right-hand man. I'm offering a special today on guided tours to Overlord Zenon's castle. You won't find a better guide anywhere, so pay up. Once everyone's paid for the service, I'll show you the shortest way to Overlord Zenon, and that's a promise. And of course, along the way, I'll show you to the best tourist spots in Veldheim. As I said, there's no better guide. <laughs> Suckers. That takes care of these guys. While I buy you the time, hurry up and do what you gotta do, my eternal rival. Wait, is the view... Oh, boy. Oh, how many more missions do we got? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> This is... You are the last ones, it seems. He looks like he is ready for a nap. You old men are all the same. No stamina! And now us girls have to find our own way to amuse ourselves. Looks like Axe's boring news show came in handy after all. Altered humans. Do you truly believe you can defeat me, Overlord Xenon? I don't know, but I'm sure we can take out a fake one or two. You're getting arrogant because you think my power is waning. But don't you know, as long as there are humans in the world, my powers are limitless! <laughs> I shall devour every human conscience! What? Go ahead. Once you turn the humans into monsters, you'll have no way of controlling them. <laughs> Once I get the princess back, I'll have no more use for this world. I'll just find another human world to conquer. But you don't have to worry about that. Because you'll already be dead! Uh, oh, do I lose those two? Uh, princess, my head feels weird. Adele, I feel like I'm gonna faint. Taro, Hanako, hold on to each other! Hurry, Adele! We have to stop him! Yeah, yeah, I think this is the final fight. Yep. Big old demon space whale thing with a volcano shield on its butt. Kabuki! I must return alive, Sam. But now I must avenge my clan. I'm not trying to save the world. I just want to protect my family. I won't lose to you! Yeah. At this point, pretty much all the levels I got are meaningless because more than likely, if he gets an attack off, he's gonna kill you in one hit.
you know, you know how the fight is. Kind of like how it went in Phantom Brave and in the first Disgaea. Yeah, it just sort of... Okay. I need to... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three people can get there, and then the fourth person can toss back here. I was trying to throw off to the one side, but a fucking analog stick. Actually... What if someone here? Shouldn't he flitter fuck his lit? No. Come on, buddy. Come on, get down here. There we go. That's a good big dumb whale monster. Yes, you are. Who's your big dumb whale monster? Oh, yes, he is. So, I need Rosalind to come out. I need Lucinda to come out. Come on down, come a little closer. That's a good dumb death whale. Yes, you are. You're oh wow, you survived. Well, that's even better. Come here, bitch. Fucking punk ass over there, motherfucker. Oh, we get. Hi. Hey, cool. He's only got seven percent fire resistance. Yay for randomness. 
Okay, he can actually get over here. No, he needs to be here. He needs to be there to do his Vulcan Blaze, because she's going to hit right... She shouldn't do hers yet. And you do Target Lock to increase the damage of Rose Liberation. Then have her do Rose Liberation. He is an old Dap Knot. And then we have to... Not end the turn, we have to execute. Oh, he's got double volcano shields on his butt. Oh no, those aren't on his butt, those are like little army things he like, swings around to block with. Oh, actually, no, that could be his face. Although they look more like volcanoes than the anus. He's like, oh, I'm gonna kill all your people here. Rubber, 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 rubber. Okay, that's a, that's a cool story, bro. Oh, you even lift? Ah, oh, yeah, deadlift this bitch. Oh, squish. <laughs> okay, cool. So this one can. Pops over the side of the head of the boss. <laughs> I'm wondering why his tie fluttered back towards the explosion. It just seems a little off. <laughs> I'm surprised he actually did one shot that one Beastmaster. That is very, very surprising to me. I would have just straight out assumed that he would have fucking iced him in one hit, but eh. Alright, that's it for our attackers this turn, so. Seriously, bro. Oh, that's a fucking bad middle fit in a space whale. Oh, it, yeah. It, it, Oopsie. Now, I know this, this only boosts her up to twice of her, her, a maximum of twice her, whatever her hit stat is. The uh, reason I keep casting it each turn is the way the buffs work is they wear off grad, like, they don't wear off all at once, it's after you get get it cast on you, it, uh, 
It comes down just like bit by bit. Damp nut finish him off. Oh well, at least he was there. <laughs> Altered humans aren't supposed to have that much power. Boy, are you really a human? Of course I am. You underestimate the will and determination of the human spirit. You get your power from humans, yet you don't know how powerful we really are. Boy, it's much too early to talk about victory. The real battle begins now! You're still gonna lose! Spare their lives. You are mine. A gentle trophy to behold. Whatever he tells you, don't believe a word of it. But if I don't, everyone will die. What choice do I have? Desire power. Wh what is this? This dark flame that burns within my heart. If you desire power, follow me. Once again, my consciousness is slipping. Answer me. Do you desire power? Yes, I want power. The power to save everyone. No, you'll break the seal. What? Rosalind? Why do you awaken me from my peaceful slumber? I travel to the edge of oblivion to escape the bloodshed. And yet, it seeks me out, even here. I am a being of solitude. My awakening is your death knell. You finally awakened! Overlord Xenon! Overlord Xenon? Thanks to you, I remember who I am. Ah, I see that the memories of your past life have returned. So, you should also remember me. Since I lost you, not a single day went by that I didn't think of revenge. But of course, you were much too powerful. 
I had no chance of beating you with a direct challenge. But then you solved the problem for me when you came here to reincarnate and escape your violent existence. I searched you out, kidnapped you, trapped you in a mansion and raised you as my own daughter. To keep you forever trapped in a life of idle insignificance. That was my revenge! The knowledge that you admired me as your own father validated my superiority. <laughs> and what is this history lesson all about? Uh, what? I have no interest in your worthless quest for revenge, you nameless fool. If you have finished telling your story, go ahead and die. What? You still look down on me? All that remains is to destroy you. Then my satisfaction will be complete. <laughs> Overlord Xenon, die! being of solitude to me everything is an enemy yeah she was level 1900 when she fought laharl and you're level 90 in your transformed state bye Is it over? No, you fool. You are also my enemy. I am a being of solitude. To me, everything is an enemy. Are you confused with the memories of Overlord Xenon? If you want to kill me, then go ahead. But please spare the others. Why do you not resist? I promised that I would protect you. So I will not fight you. Your nonsense shall not save you. What happened, princess? <laughs> We're not your enemies. I am a being of solitude. You are my enemy. But you're not alone anymore. You officially made me your servant. I cannot trust in servants. Servants will betray me and die. What about us? You told me that you loved the rice balls I made for you! We're friends, aren't we? I have no friends. All I have are enemies. And what about me? Is your childhood friend your enemy too? When we were kids, we were inseparable. Everyone who has ever come close to me has betrayed me. Miss Rosalind, you helped us save my brother's life. Even after he tried to kill you. Where did that kindness go, Sam? If I had my memory at the time, I would have killed him myself. Look, not that I care if you killed them all, but doesn't being controlled by memories from a past life kind of make you a tool? What do you know about it? No one can understand my vast loneliness. You aren't alone. You have friends that care about you. And Edna. <laughs> S Silence! You are all enemies! to protect you. A 
I'm gonna say it again. You are not alone. I can't trust anyone! Stop talking and trust this! Ah, Did he finally get over his dislike for the boobies? So it turns out they really did summon Overlord Zenon in the beginning. They didn't fuck up. Aha! about it in the other two NIS games that uh, you know in Phantom Brave and uh, the first this guy uh, things in the final boss fights probably would have been better if I would have basically did lift cheese if I would have done that things probably would have went better But I didn't, I didn't know, really know about Lift Cheese until, you know, before I started playing this one. It was kind of just like, well, fuck. I just gotta coax the, I just have to coax the final boss over towards the ent, you know, close enough to the entrance where I can just hit him with, you know, two or three powerful characters' attacks, and then run, run some sacrificial lamb out there to basically deadlift his fucking space whale ass and get squished. I was like, oh hey, you you got deadlifted, squish. Well, that wasted your turn. <laughs> you know, I mean, if if it wasn't for the fact that it wasted his that it wastes his turn, then by you know squashing whoever was holding him. That would be a little bit different. Luckily, though... No, I guess that must be Tink. But yeah, I'm guessing... That that would definitely... would. Then if, if, if that wasn't something you could do, then... Yeah. Because I've noticed something about the final the final bosses in these is they tend to basically go float, 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 I'm going to one-shot you, float, float, float over here, I'm going to one-shot you, or teleport in the case of the first fucking this guy, uh, fucking Seraphim fuck nugget. I can teleport up to seven spaces and just fucking kill your ass by poking you! On the bright side, at least this one didn't have a trap character like the first game, like the first this guy. Uh, that pissed me off. You get to you get to the final boss, and then oh by the way, Flan's gone, just dead, turned into a fucking flower. So if she was in any way, if she was in any way significant to your party makeup, then gone. Of course, like for, she's probably there for the post-game and all that shit, but it, it just, you know, you're going through the game for the fir fucking first time, you get to the final boss, and it's like, yeah, that main character has been with you since, like, chapter, what, three or something? Dead. Gone. At least with... 
At least with other trap characters. Well, not. Well, yeah. I guess if you never did, if you had never played Final Fantasy VII before and didn't know anything about it, Eris is a trap character. I mean, she's a useless character. Well, she's a limit break battery. That's about all she's worth. But I mean, she's a. You lose her with the end of disc one, so what's the point of putting any time into her? Besides, she's an airhead. Gets the party in trouble all the goddamn time. I'd kill her myself if the game let me. Just abandon her on a desert island somewhere with the fucking sea worms. But yeah. So. Yeah. This guy too. Dark Hero Days. They still don't really know what the purpose of. What, I, I, I guess, I guess Axel is the replacement for mid boss. So I guess that was his role. Other than that, it's just like okay, there's that guy, whatever. Uh, blargle, blargle. So. Any post credit nonsense? It's time for the news! Today marks the one year anniversary of the Overlord Xenon incident. Even more shocking than the event itself was the later findings that it was all a hoax perpetrated by Axel, the Dark Hero. Okay. Shortly after the hoax was revealed, Axel himself was savagely beaten by overlords from many alternate netherworlds. Showing no signs of regret, Axel was quoted as saying, I am the only true Dark Hero! What can I say? I fooled you, Luger! One year later, the only significant effect of this bizarre and pointless act was the mark that Axel has forever left in history. The same news again? Axel gets to do whatever he wants now. Dear Tardo, How are you doing? I'm doing good! I got some treats from Yukimaru and Fubuki the other day. They were excited about rebuilding their village. By the way, are Mom and Dad still mad? I guess it's normal for them to be mad that I did something like this, especially after we turned into humans. But I already made up my mind. I guess it's like that time you decided you wanted to be Rosie's servant. Anyway, Tardo, it's about time for you to go out and find a girlfriend. Tell Adele and Rossi, they better get along with each other, too. Hanako, we gotta leave soon. Today, the prince wants us to go out to the Sea of Gehenna and send this king dragon packing, okay? Okay! P.S. Tardo! <laughs> I'm gonna be a demon lord for sure! Uh wait what Um more than I bargained for Uh Maybe some other time. I guess for now that that ends uh, ends this guy too. So uh, catch you later. Adios.